Welcome back to the channel, guys. And if this is your first time here, my name is Tim, and this is the Tim O Show, where I bring you guys along on my journey to being self-employed. And if you guys watch my videos, you know that in my last video, we went and we bought four new vending machines from Ray as the Entrepreneur. And in this video, we're going to go deliver them to our new location and fill them up. So stick around and don't go anywhere. All right, guys, so what I'm doing right now is I'm testing each selection just to make sure they all work. Even though I know they work, I'm just also kind of trying to learn like what's going on right here. So I gotta drop these off pretty soon. So I'm just gonna run through them real quick, make sure everything works. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm putting in them yet or where those things are gonna go. I gotta figure all that out, but I'm gonna drop the machines off. Then I'm gonna go pick up product. Then I'm gonna come back and stock the product. And then um, as I'm doing that, I'll set the prices. So, all right, let's go. All right, so when I got the machine, Ray has had emptied it all out, so it's all nice and empty. Uh, but however, there is some down here stuck, like you know, like I say, one in the chamber. Um, I can't seem to get the energy drinks out where I got it, was able to pull out most of the single ounce cans, but I have to pull out, I don't know what these are called, gauge bars, I guess. I gotta pull these gauge bars out, so it's real easy. You just pull this little tab right here, Little cotter pin. Make sure you know where it's at. Just the middle slot, and then that way we can get under there and then release release them. All right, guys. Got the machine loaded up in the truck. I know it's not supposed to be on its back, but we're gonna let it stand for a day before we fire it up. And I'm gonna come back and get that one. All right, let's go. You know, you got your boy here. You yeah, get yeah. Christopher. What up? All right, there, $10 appliance bag in town. How do they know if you rent a dolly if you take it out of town? Because right there it says appliance rental dolly in town, $10. Wheel samples. <laughs> in the wheel well, and then we noticed. <laughs> Looks like you were in Fresno. <laughs> Did this work, you guys? I'm just gonna get some of those. <laughs> so this is where it's going, in here. I guess right there. All right guys, so change of plan. So the break room, unfortunately the doors are super small and I can't really get the machine. I mean, I know I can if I wanted to, but I'm sure we damaged the floors. So basically we're gonna go into like a training area where there's a double glass doors right here, look. I will have no problem fitting the machines in there. What do you think? It's better than a 38 machine inch machine through a 35 inch doorway. Okay, so you know, vending biz, beginner tip 1097 is, you know, don't move a soda machine on its back. I know, I know guys are gonna tear me up in the comments. So far, I have moved two full line machines on their backs. The first machine that I moved on its back, I moved it the same day to the location and it's been working fine so far. Knock on wood. So hopefully I didn't jinx myself. So if I could do it all over again, I definitely give myself a few more days with the machines. And I picked the machines up, I brought them home, and took them the very next day. And thank you to Chris Franco. Chris, I know you're watching. Dude, I appreciate you so much because you always come in clutch and I owe you big time. But I wish I had a few more days with the machines so I could learn how they work. Because after I did deliver them, we had a couple little minor issues that I worked out like super simple minor issues and the video is coming. So I just wanted to say, you know, if I could do it over and give myself a couple of days to learn the machines, to get a trailer, that way I wouldn't have to lean the soda machine on its back and jeopardize messing up all the, um, the oil and the coolant inside of the machine. So again, guys, I'm not an expert. I'm just a regular guy trying to figure this out as I go. And I hope that I could show you guys and inspire you that you could do it if you really set your mind to it. It is hard work. It is a lot of time, and it is there is quite a bit of money invested up front to to get to get this going. So I got a new location, and I'm super stoked. And if you guys want to see a video on how I got this location, this location actually turned into two locations. And if you guys are interested, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. Now we got to go get stuff to put in it. Oh, 
<laughs> Dude, I was running and tried to ride the cart. You know how you like put your feet up on the cart and you cruise? And then the cart like made a hard left and everything fell off. Oh man. I didn't lose no sodas. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Ah, oh, geez, here's my truck. Uh, that was too funny. So that guy right there just came and asked me, he's like, hey, did stuff fall off the cart? And I was like, oh yeah, an accident. He's like, oh, well, good. Well, if you notice anything's damaged, let me know and I'll go get you a new one. Dude, Costco, you guys rock. Thanks. So keep in mind that once you buy the vending machines, that it's not, that's not the initial investment. It's still gonna take money to fill up the machine. So for instance, I spent about $300, a little less than $300, and that's not gonna completely fill up the machines. Um, I did this deliberately because I wanted to leave some selections open for them to leave suggestions. Also, the coin mix. You have to fill up the coin mix. I spent over $100 filling up both of these coin mix. So once you buy the machines, say you get a snack machine and a soda machine, um, for me, in this situation here, it cost me an additional $500 to get up and running. So just keep in mind, that's something I know not a lot of people talk about and something that totally I didn't see at first either when I was watching these videos when I was thinking about getting started. So if you guys like this video and you like this type of content, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. It really does help out the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.